how's it going everyone and I haven't uh, made any videos for I don't know about a week or so or more uh, just haven't been in the mood I've had stuff to that to edit and render and post but I just haven't felt like doing turning on the camera for anything that I've been doing uh, let's see yesterday we went down to uh, went down to the outdoor market and started getting some stuff ready. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff out of our extra space that we're going to take back to the auction. And we're kind of... Oh, kind of uh, going to change up a lot of stuff that we're selling. And your light is flashing. Your battery is getting low. So, uh, let's see. Uh, so I figured I'm starting to clean up some albums uh, to get price to take down uh, if you don't know we're, we open up first weekend of May and we're getting about three weeks away so I have a lot of stuff that I have to get ready for down there and I have stuff that I have to get ready to put online so there's going to be some uh, probably some times that I'm not posting as much. I'll, I'll go over all this on uh, on my Sunday coffee break. You may have already have seen it and I'm going to try and post that this weekend and then you'll see this next week and whatever. But I thought I'd do a review. I have a bunch of records I got to clean up, a bunch of albums to get them ready. And I bought this uh, last summer. It's been sitting around since last summer and I figured uh, it's time to start cleaning records for the flea market, so uh, let's do a review on this and see if this thing's any good as far as cleaning. I, I mean, I'm sure it, it you know, it's going to be okay. It's got to be better than some of the records I have, but, you know, it's not a top-end one. Okay, battery died in right mid-sentence. I thought I had a little bit longer before it would puke out on me, but nope, it puked. So I got you all energized with a brand new battery. So you ought to feel really good about this now. But anyway, this is an MK2 system. Spin Clean Record Washer MK2. Spin Clean is the ultimate in record care. So easy to use. Just spin the record two or three times in the Spin Clean Record Washing System. Then remove and wipe dry with the special lint free cloth very important very important presto it's clean Splint spin clean is the only record washing system on the market that is a bath type not a wipe and dipe but a bath type complete record cleaning system cool so like i said i think these are about 60 bucks or 60 70 bucks something like that and I'm sure you're just going to get a whole bunch of plastic that that is not very well made because I'm sure this is made in that one special place that we get all of our stuff Ooh, does it work does it ever meet my new best friend spin clean I cleaned some dirty fingerprint encrusted records and when I removed them from the vat all dirt and fingerprints were gone Presto digitation it was it's magic the bottom line is this spin clean earns my highest recommendations okay uh, let's see uh, spin character uh, that's about all there is on the outside, so I guess they're not going to tell us. Uh, nothing on the bottom. Rattles pretty good. So let's see about getting this. I, I haven't even opened this. It came, and I set it off to the side to get it, get to it later. And yeah, got we even got some wildlife in it. Run, run! Evict him. All right, let's see. What do we got? We got the lint 
free cloths. Feels like diaper material. Probably pretty much the same thing. Get two of those. Uh, let's see, we get, ooh, some sort of special lube in a jug. Oh, no, washing fluid, MK3, okay. Here, I thought they were sending us. Well, no, we're not going to go there. Okay, get the toilet paper manual. Yep. Boy, really, really spared no expense. At least it's glossy anyway, and not just printed. Copyright 2017, so you know how long this one's been around. Ooh, made in USA. I'll be dipped. Oops, sorry, that's taken away from somebody else. Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. It's made in U.S. Spin Clean International, P.O. Box 15200, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Jeez, I can drive down there. That's only about 85 miles away. I can go right down there and and smack somebody up alongside the head if it doesn't work, huh? What do we got? That's probably, oh, that's probably, come on, come on out of there. Yeah, bear with me for a minute while I shake you around a bit. Okay, let's, what is that? Little rubber goinker. I wonder if that's one of the feet. Does have feet on it? Oh, it's an extra foot. I'll be. Look at that. Okay. We get two of the brushes. Should be one on either side or, oh, one in the middle. Yep, okay. And our roly-polies. Those should be for setting your for 45s, 78s, and that's probably albums, and that should be the lid. Yeah, cool. Get your lid. Okay, I am going to have to put you down. My hand's cramping up, and then I'll get back with you here in a minute. All right, it says here, remove lid from Spin Clean Doctor record washing system. Yep, we did do that. Remove the cloths. Yep, did that. Pre-wash. Pre-wash the cloths. Well, no. We'll skip that. It says it fluffs them up and makes them more absorbent. Junior. <clears throat> okay. Oh, if washing other clothes with the drying cloths, wash only with your whites. In other words, your tidy whities bras, panties, you know, white socks, whatever. Uh, if you wash them with the panties, though, they might... No, we're not going there. Okay. Spin Clean Record Washing Components. Spin Clean Record Washing Components System MK2. Remove the rollers from supply packages. Okay, we found the one. It came out. Now we got the other. We'll put that one right in there. And let's see, outside 33 RPM. That's what I figured. Uh, let's see, remove roll. Okay, fill the spin clean record washing MK with distilled water. Well, we don't have any dis distilled water, but it uh, but it says. Uh, let's see, what the basin? You can use tap water if distilled water is not available. Okay, so let's. Let's go over to the sink. You can see I got piles of albums that I've been working on. I'll we'll fill this up with some nice well water. Up to the line. A little more. Just a touch. That looks just stupendous record washer hmm. record washer 
record washer. Okay, there we go. Now, we've got our water. Now, pour washing fluid, MK3, directly over the top of the top of the inserted brushes. Well, it never told us to put the brushes in. Well, well what the heck? I mean, we miss a step here? Are we goofier than a $3 bill or it never said to take the, just said the rollers. Not these nifty little felt brushes. And I'm figuring since it's kind of has a wedge on the top that I'll bet that it probably goes in like so. Now it's in the water. <laughs> Can you get them back out pretty easily? Oh, jeez. No. Oh. Let's, we'll get them a little wet. Now, we need our, okay, let's see, washer fluid, that's way up there, washer fluid, four ounce bottle, three capfuls. Okay, so they want you to pour it on the brushes, and I can't get this thing open with one hand. Hold on a second. Look at the lid for a second. Okay, got it out. What do we got? Spin clean. Wash fluid. Washer fluid. Huh, I wonder if you can use that in your car. Or if you can use your car washer fluid. I wonder if that would work. Hmm. Okay. Three capfuls. Washer fluid, washer fluid. I don't. Okay. MK3 bottles only. Washer fluid MK3. Let's see, it says here four ounce MK2 bottles only. Three capfuls. Now, if we're using. Uh, 4 ounce MK3 bottles only, one cap full. This is 4 ounce and this is washer fluid MK3. So I'm guessing that we use this one, MK3, we only use one cap full. So we have to split it up and put half on one brush and half on the other brush. So I am going to shut you off for a second and I'm going to fill up the cap and then we'll douse them. Okay, well I spilt some on my camera and got on the LCD and it cleaned up for it up pretty nice. You focusing or you, do I screw you up? Hello? Okay, so we got one cap full and it doesn't smell like much So now, do you have to do this every time you, I guess we'll find, I guess we'll find out what it says. Put the lid back on our snot in a can. Clean up my mess. go. Okay, now, what's next? Okay, spoon and grass washer encapsulates the dirt and forces it to the bottom of the basin, preventing it from being redeposited onto the record. The bright yellow color of the Spindox washer uh, basin allows you easily to see the dirt at the bottom of the, okay, and done cleaning. Each time you prepare the unit for cleaning session, ooh, uh, cleaning session, the bath will clean 20 to 50 records. Hmm. 
The actual number of records will vary depending on how dirty your records are. Well, I've got some pretty nasty ones. Okay, insert your record into the spin clean record washer system. Rotate record clockwise three times, then counterclockwise three times. Carefully remove and the record uh, with the pre-washed reusable drying cloth in a clockwise circular motion. Once dry, your record is ready to play or return to its sleeve. When you are finished cleaning your records, remove the brush brushes from the basin, rinse thoroughly with warm water, press out excess fluid and let air dry on top of the unit. We do not re recommend leaving brushes in the unit filled with solution unless you are washing records. Remember that. That will avoid the warranty. Okay, we recommend a cleaning session where you set aside a period of time and clean as many records from the single base, base filling. If you choose to fill the unit and only clean a few records, you can save the solution in the basin with the lid on for up to one week. Hmm, and it probably gets moldy. But you must remove the brushes. Rinse thoroughly with warm water, press out any excess liquid, and permit them to air dry. Only return the brushes to the basin and the solution when you are ready to clean the records again. If you are not saving the washing solution to use, okay, well, we know all that. Just to dump it and then you can, you have to refill it every time. Okay. I'm sure you're getting tired of me making fun of their, their crap, so. Okay. So I'm going to go pick out a few good records. I'm picking out a thermos for you. And... We are going to try this out and see how it cleans them up. Huh. Camera doesn't want to... There, that's better. I think when I wiped off the LCD, I turned off the autofocus. Can you see that? Can you read that? Okay. And yes, a bun stabilizer is on. And hang in here. Yep, autofocus is on. So we should be able to... Move up, move back. Okay, okay, here's what I am going to do. I'm going to straighten you out a little bit there first. Okay, uh, I got, got three albums. These are mine. Simple fact is because the covers are all, you know, they got kind of molded. A little moldy. Nice. Dookie. So we got a Chicago, got a Rush 2112 that we're going to do, and if we have time we'll do Doobie. Do the Doobies, and the Captain and me. So let's do Chicago first, let's, let me get him out, like I said, um, I'm just keeping these covers because they're, you know, I have something to keep them in, these are ones that I'll listen to. But I don't know. Let's see if we can get a good shot of this. You can see where I did wipe it off some. Enough so I could play it to make sure it was okay because there was a scratch right there. But by all means, this does not fix records. This just cleans them. Now you're supposed to put it down in, like so. The only thing I worry about is getting my labels wet, because those labels do not like getting wet. So it says turn it two or three times that way. And then go back the other way two or three times. Okay, now I'm going to put you in the stand so I can pull it and dry it.
Yeah, one thing, it didn't get the label wet. But I can sure see that they are going to have to dry even after wiping them off. That's why some of these come with a rack that even after you wipe them off you put them in a rack and let them dry because the grooves on these will hold water. have to find a rack to set them up. Let me get your screen flipped around so I can see what the hell you're looking at. Okay, there. I'm just going to leave that one sit back there. Uh, let's see now. That's Chicago. Rush. Rush is dirty, but it wasn't like Chicago. Rush has some scuffs and scratches. Okay, so we'll let's put him down in. Okay. Rush is facing up, so we'll go around. Oops, that's one, two, three, and we'll go back the other way. One, two, three. Those brushes are so fine that they'll get down in the grooves, I hope. And like I said, I gotta watch. Because I've washed albums before at the sink. And you gotta be really careful not to get your label wet. Those labels they get a little water on them and boy they they'll fall right off and they'll start peeling okay now we'll let rush sit back there and there's Chicago looks like some of it is going to be stained because all that is is mildew or sad but yeah, it does does a pretty good job. I mean, they have better ones. They have ones that you can actually hook up to your um, put right on your uh, ultrasonic cleaner, and it has a motor on it with the brushes, and it it'll spin in the ultrasonic cleaner and actually clean the record that way too. But I just wanted to see how one of these uh, cheaper versions would work and you know for reselling records it's it's going to clean them up nicely. I mean I guess if you're going to do your own then you may want to have the one with the ultrasonic but I think it's going to I think they work out pretty good for the price of them. I mean, it's got to take care of a lot of the scratching 
or not scratches but a lot of the crackling and what I'm going to do is now I will play Chicago and I'll bring you back and tell you how it turned out after I cleaned it and then we'll finish up okay we're gonna do an extreme here this is Doobie this is the Doobie Brothers you can see how crappy how filthy that is and we're gonna listen to it if I stop shaking sorry about that you can hear the crackling could hear the crackling in it now I know we're not going to get rid of all of it because there, this record is not in the greatest of condition as far as scratches and scuffs go but let's see just for the heck of it how much of it we can clean up let's see if we can get some of it cleaned up I'll put you in the stand come on didn't want to go in the stand. Okay, I still got Rush sitting back there. Let's go with one, two, and three. Same thing. Go back the other way. One, two, three, and a half for good measure. Let that drip off. Now these these drying cloths remind me of diaper material. Okay, now I'm gonna I'll have to let that dry. Oh, lint free and but yet it left some lint. Yep, let me let that dry off a little bit and then we'll put it on and spin it up. Okay, let her air dry for a while. Take it back over here. You can see it it has cleaned it up but like I said it's not going to take scratches out and it's still going to leave lint oh yeah looks good though it's cleaned up nice you know like I said this is one of mine I'll keep this one because it, it's you know it's okay to listen to but you know it's not real nice to to sell so let's see if I can stop shaking here and come on, quit. And I still got some. All right, it helped. But like I said, the condition of this record is not going to. Uh, it's playable now you know before it was playable but it, it still had a lot of a lot of crackling in it uh, for some reason these do get a lot of crackling out here on the first song because I think that's just when you start shoving them into the sleeve and everything everything is kind of drags across this tip here it is kind of beveled up a little bit on the end so when you do stick it in it's supposed to kind of stay over the 
the music from what I this is just what I'm thinking what I'm looking at so the edges is always going to be a little little rough but at least now it you know it sounds better I don't know if you can tell but it does sound better and it does look better looks a heck of a lot better that's for sure so it you know can't do anything but help all right now what do I think of this spin clean uh, I like it uh, that's just from three three records and you can see how how much dirt we've got out of it now I know rush isn't gonna sound the greatest either because you know it's it cleaned up really nice but it, it's a little rough again that's why I'm keeping it for myself just for the simple fact is that it's uh, a little scratched up and the cover is is all beat to crap I had to tape it back together but what do I think I think it's worth the money I think it'll you know it'll clean up records really nice to resell and for my own use uh, would I buy another one hmm, I'm gonna look into probably buying my next one will probably be one for the ultrasonic cleaner uh, I have an ultrasonic cleaner that I use for carburetors on bald guy garage but I'll, I'll probably have to buy another ultrasonic cleaner uh, to run it and I think that one would probably work even better yet uh, like on the doobies it, it may take out a little bit more of the crackling in it but you know hey it is what it is when you're dealing with old vinyl and I don't buy pristine vinyl I always I usually end up buying the crap that nobody else wants because it's all covered in mildew or mold and the covers are falling off of them but the record's still good you know and all I'm interested in is listening to the record I could care less about the cover I have dust sleeves which I'll put Chicago in a new one because that one's still pretty moldy and these will go in my collection to listen to so I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you and I'll put a link in the if I remember I'll put a link in the description for Amazon on my link for the the spin clean the MK2 record washer so I hope to see you on the next one until then see ya Great color too, isn't it? Nice yeller.